Hi, welcome to this week's Keeping Up With Beauty In The Dirt. As you can see, we've got lovely John Frieda goodies to give away this week. So get subscribing and you've got some fantastic chances to win their new electrical range. And we're going to take off with some new beauty products that have just arrived today, Debbie. Absolutely today. Abana, the ceremony of bathing. We all love bathing. But what we really fell, fell in love with the, with this was the packaging, packaging is absolutely so great gift. gorgeous. Mm. Very Christmas starting to yeah, come in. Yeah, all been fragranced yeah. with essential oils um, against animal testing. So they're all they're all very pure and very love lovely. That. That it's mandarin and grape fruit. Smells, yes. smells lovely. One. I'm actually wearing it. What a cute little bit. Thing. Did you? Yes, sorry. Um, that is but, nice. They've got really fresh. body lotions, they've got home fragrances and lots and, and lots shower of products gels, for which is really the bath. Cute. Starting from £10, which is pretty good actually, That's because they are cool. essential oils. Going up to a whopping £450 for some of the Christmas gift sets. I'll have that, thanks. Absolutely, I think I will as well. But, but for the say, packaging and what you get, it actually beautiful. looks much more expensive than what well, it is. These definitely. bottles feel really yeah. solid and lovely Chunky and glass heavy. Bottles. Beautiful, so look out for that Abana and you can buy them all online. Lovely. That's great. Young Emma. I'm going to start with Ico. So Ico um, has completely relaunched everything. They're now only doing eye products, which I think kind of makes sense. It'd be called Ico, you think that you would, would have, have been, thought, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, and I met with the founder the other day, um, and they're launching these brand new... Um, Are these the mascaras? Uh, the mascaras. So yeah. the actual formula isn't new, but the packaging is. So they're kind of... So squidgy they packaging. Like mascaras, do they? Um, they've got a fat brush, they've got a curvy brush, and that one which is slightly more puny. Um, but they're brilliant. They're squidgy packaging, which is what quite unusual. What have got a guitar plectrum on there? Well, that's what I thought, but apparently what you do is you take the brush, like so, and you put that there, and it lifts your eyelash up, and you do that so you don't get any transfer. Mm. A bit confused as to why, you know, the musicians out there would relate to this, but... Multi-purpose cool. use mm. of that, and they're okay. going to they're going to soon launch eyeshadows, and um, they've got the most amazing two like the two colours that I saw was a turquoise and a kind of green colour felt tip eyeliner, mm. and I put it on yesterday morning, and it's still, it's still on, on, and I wash my hand a lot. So if you want long wearing makeup, this is the stuff that you want. I um, liked their nail polishes. They're not yeah, doing them anymore. scrapped it, and none of the kind of Japanese illustrations anymore which I quite liked but they obviously are on something and they're exclusively at Harvey Nichols um, these oh. are 15 pounds so I think they're actually going to be quite okay a hit. we'll try those out nice. and we'll write about them on the site when yeah, we've all had definitely. a go um, yesterday we sat down with Gucci Westman who is the makeup uh, creative designer lovely really lovely makeup, really so lovely makeup really designer nice. at uh, Revlon and she talked us through some of the looks that she did at London Fashion Week and this Revlon True Red lipstick. Wow, look at so that. So that's as red as you get, really, isn't it? Featured heavily, um, especially in the Templey show and the Luca Luca show. Um, so this is the red, and it really is a true, true red, actually. Yeah, I think fantastic. it's going to suit most um, skin, skin tones. Um, one of the tips for her was that if you are really doing red lips, and the kind of the smoky eye was to make sure your complexion is really flawless. And she suggested that you spend a lot more time on your base by using primer, massaging the face to make it relaxed and get the blood flowing than you do on your makeup. So it's all about prepping um, your skin beforehand to get a flawless finish. Um, Revlon Red Nails is what I had on anyway, just out of... Mm. And um, they use that for the these toes, 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 Yeah, so Revlon True Red, that's the one, a bit of a classic. And I love that quilted packaging, you probably can't see that, but there's a lovely sort new of quilted... Packaging. We also saw the new lip butters, butters didn't we? Are we not allowed to talk yeah, about Yeah, we are allowed to talk about them. Okay. Okay. Well, we they have until next year. Lip butters out They're in amazing. April, that are sheer lip balms with a hint of colour that are lovely from Revlon. Body Shop. The Body Shop are getting behind a really fantastic campaign which is close to everyone here's hearts, I know. It's the Stop Bag which they have launched with Tamara Mellon and it's basically to stop sex trafficking of children and young people it's campaign. It's a cute bag actually. Sold for £4 in store, limited edition. It is actually a really nice little it's got a shoulder strap, strap it's got, as well. Yeah, and hand straps. So, you know, it's useful. Nicole practical. Kidman's hands on it yeah. as well. And, and quite Jamie fantastic Mark as, well. as well. Yeah, yeah limited cool. edition, sold we for like £4. It. All proceeds are going uh, to the campaign to stop child sex trafficking. I know you might think you don't so, need another bag, but we like that But one. I actually really like the really colours there, really. it's jolly and the illustrations are really nice as yes. well. So grab one before they go and you really are putting some money towards Healthy. something really worthwhile. Good so that's a good one. Emma? 
My last one is a personal favourite, which I actually got Chris to remind me to do because I've been meaning to do it for ages, and it's the Control Force Firm Hold Hairspray from Aveda. Um, I actually hadn't heard about this until we, we had an event with them last year, and it is the best hairspray I've ever used. Well, it, Dill uses it every night, yeah. just to go home. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's, it is quite a gummy hairspray, but at the same time, once you sprayed it on, your hair yeah. literally won't move, but you can brush it out and it really keeps the hold in. Um, just and it lasts for ages. The only thing I would say is because it is slightly gummy, the top gets a bit stuck sometimes. So you kind of need to like chip it out a little bit. But it is brilliant. But it is Mine's used lasted. every day in this office by you and Dill. Uh, yeah. so and it doesn't stink, which is good. It, it, the smell isn't in any way offensive. There was an article I read that Tom Ford wrote that gay men like hairspray, and it just made me think that actually Dill does love his hairspray. So yeah. as an homage to Dill, who refuses to ever appear in these videos. <laughs> This is what he's we'll wearing over there. there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just lastly from me, um, a few people lately have asked me what I use on my skin. So as you can see, this is half used and I am using it on my skin. Um, the Aspar Rejuvenating Face Treatment Oil and the Lift and Firm Moisturiser. Now as winter closes in and you feel like your skin needs to have a bit more nourishment, I'm a big face oil fan. And this is just... Oh, oh that is lovely. It's uh, got carrot mm, oil, uh, nice. frankincense and jasmine. It's the kind of oil that if you rub on your fingers before you massage over your face, it's that's a treatment in itself. It's mm. so lovely. And you carry on smelling it. So I sort of like, I, as soon as I'm home, I wash my face and put my creams on for a night time. And that is so lovely at night. I really recommend it. And I follow it with the Lift and Firm moisturiser, which is quite light and works really well with the oil. So just something I've been using that I find my skin is responding really well to. Mm. And that's it from us for this yes. week. So get subscribing for the John Frieda goodies. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks. Bye. Bye.